eight. Yo, this has got to be the worst. One of the worst. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. This has got to be one of the most weirdest um, wedding stories I've ever heard. Um, honeymoon bloodbath sparked by World War I bomb. Wife 31 suffers eye, hand, and leg injuries as brother and friend are killed when campfire triggered sh shrapnel blast during the post-wedding celebrations in the Ukraine. And they got a picture of the woman laying up in the house. That was a wedding down from hell. It's just sitting around a campfire in an ideal idyllic forest clearing. It was the perfect honeymoon celebration with family and friends after her wedding. But the dream outing transformed into a bloodbath. Damn. Please forgive me. By a very first world war bomb. Damn. The shrapnel tore through Lydia's Makari's body and her brother was killed. Ugh. The 31-year-old had traveled to the Ukraine beauty spot for a belated honeymoon after marrying Norbert Varga, 43, near their home in Bracknell, Berkshire. Ugh. It is thought that the explosion was triggered by the fire that the party of 12 had lit at the end of the walk last month in the Carpathian Mountains near the border of Hungary. Ugh, I'm the border with Hungary. The bomb went off while they were telling stories and drinking tea. That's messed up. Oh, oh my goodness, you guys. Ain't that messed up? How many times have y'all set your butts out somewhere in the summertime, nice night, started, a, you know, had a bonfire or, you know, a, um, you know, a nice little campfire. And to think, see, that's why I said it's so much stuff under the ground and it's buried. Just like in our lives, so much stuff that's in the ground, that's buried, that need to come out so, you know, we can... Um, move forward and look at this right here. It had been all the same. If, I mean, look, somebody, something is weird as somebody lighting a, a, a campfire would explode something that should have never been there in the first place. But that's what life is it's a continuous it's stacking on stacking on stacking and Damn. I mean, did that. That is just insane. Lydia McCurry, 31, was hit by an unexploded WW1 World War I bomb. What the? You talk about freak accidents on her honeymoon. The bomb detonated, killing her brother and a friend, leaving her in a hospital. Oh. She had gone to. Um, with her husband from their home in Berkshire. That is the freakingest. Y'all already know. Did y'all hear this story? I mean, am, is this the most weirdest, freakiest story y'all have heard? I mean, come on. That is coincidence. Uh, that That is really weird. Okay, I'm going to turn the page. And with that being said, um, the next, uh, I'm going to flip the page. And 
I think this next story, y'all, is very alarming for those of y'all who think that uh, global warming is not real, or those of you guys who think that, um, you know, it's just propaganda. Uh, this is a very, very, very disturbing science uh, story. And I want to say to all the elite class, don't you know that the problem in the world is really you? Because if you would really think about the the, the, the reason why y'all got to America in the first place looking for a new world is because you had pretty much destroyed the environment that you were in. Even like coming down from the Caucasus Mountains. Would you know you had spread that all those diseases and things, and so now we're at a point now in this world. Now y'all want to go up to space, and you want to make it an elite, um, you know, trip because most normal people can't and wouldn't be able to afford it. Um, but the sad part about that is. You do not, you know, you done messed up the earth so bad. Now you want to look somewhere, and this has seemed to be the history. And, 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 uh, and this is no kind of funny talk or anything of that nature. And those of y'all who agree with me, can you please say something? Those of y'all who know what I'm talking about, or you know, want to challenge to say and say, no, that's not true. I welcome it. I'm trying to understand because it just seems to me that every place. Um, that the Europeans start setting down his uh, loins, that's setting down his markers. Pretty soon that land becomes barren, des you know, just desolated, just messed up. And then they have to find a new uh, world because they infected the other one with diseases and plagues and pollution. Listen, okay, I'm going to stop. I'm just going to read this story to you. Y'all know Lake Tahoe, right? Well, Isaac Hayes did that masterful album. Ugh. Isaac Hayes at Lake Tahoe? Come on now. Anyway, Lake Tahoe runs dry. Severe drought leaves boats and docks hundreds of feet from shore, and salmon are unable to spawn as scientists warn of dire consequences. Hey, come on up in here, somebody. Y'all don't think this has got anything to do with global warming? And how we're polluting the earth? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Oh, mercy, mercy me, all things ain't what they used to be, no, no, mm. radiation on the star and in the clouds, mm. this is crazy, y'all, fish full of mercury, Oh, oh, mercy, mercy me. I can't sing too much because you already know. This is sad. Lake Tahoe water levels have dropped about a half an inch below the Nash. I mean, about. Okay, it says uh, it has dropped below this natural rim. Experts warn that another dry winter could pull the body of water at risk of becoming terminal meaning that the lake will no longer be able to supply its only outflow. The severe drought conditions across California and the Sierra Nevada mountains have taken their toll on the lake. Water is no longer flowing from the lake, and the Truckee River and Salmon are unlikely to spawn in a major uh, tributary this year, and that's according to the Los Angeles Times. We gotta save this planet. It's just so much, you know, and this is something that I don't think people take serious enough. And in fact, it was just like when um, Al Gore did the inconvenient truth. 
I think a lot of people just think it's a joke and that this country and this way we live in is always going to remain the same. We can keep polluting and keep doing whatever the hell, littering, doing whatever we think without any repercussions or without any thought to the to the to the to the land that that's going to play out and it's going to have dire consequences. I don't know. Tell me what y'all think. Uh because this is sad. Lake Tahoe is drying out. And you can see it right there. This article actually is from the Daily Mail. That's where it came from. Look at that. That is insane. It looks barren. It's a lake, you guys. Oh, well. One time I feel like I'm just tripping. I'll see you in the next video.